Welcome friends. Welcome to the channel UPSC Maths. So in previous video we have started with analytical method. Let's do some more sums from the same topic. So the question is maximize z is equal to x1 plus 3 x2 plus 3 x3 subject to constraints x1 plus 2 x2 plus 3 x3 equal to 4 and 2x1 plus 3x2 plus 5x3 equal to 7. Let's start with the solution. Since the question is already expressed in standard form, we will skip that part. Let's directly find the number of basic solution. For that, we have number of variables 3, x1, x2 and x3, number of constraints, 2, x1 plus 2, x2 plus 3, x3 equal to 4 and 2, x1 plus 3, x2 plus 5, x3 equal to 7. So, if we consider number of variable as m and number of constraint as n, then the number of basic solution is given by m c n and in this case number of basic solution becomes 3 c 2 which is 3 let's formulate a table like this let x1 and x2 be the basic variable and x3 be the non-basic variable since the difference between number of variable and constraint is 1 we have to set one variable equal to 0 at a time substitute non-basic variable equal to 0 in the given constraints and hence we get two equation as x1 plus x2 equal to 4 and 2x1 plus 3x2 equal to 7. When we solve these two equations, we get the value of x1 and x2 as 2 and 1. Now, to calculate the value of objective function, substitute the value of x1 and x2 in the given objective function. So, we get z as 5. Since all the values of x1 and x2 are greater than or equal to 0, hence the solution is feasible. Now we have to check whether the solution is non degenerated. If all the basic variables are greater than 0, then the solution is considered as non degenerative. In this case, x1 is equal to 2 and x2 equal to 1, which is greater than 0 and hence the given solution is non-degenerative. Consider x1 and x3 as basic variable and hence x2 become the non-basic variable. Put x2 equal to 0 in the given constraint. So we get two equations as x1 plus 3 x3 equal to 4 and 2 x1 plus 5 x3 equal to 7. When we solve these two equations, we get the value of x1 and x3 as x1 equal to 1 and x3 equal to 1. Now, substitute the value of x1 and x3 in given objective function to calculate the value of objective function. So we get z is equal to 4. Since both the value of x1 and x3 are greater than or equal to 0, the given solution is feasible. And since the value of basic solution is greater than 0 and hence the given solution is non-degenerative. Consider x2 and x3 as basic variable and hence x1 become the non-basic variable. 
Now put x1 equal to 0 to calculate the value of x2 and x3. Substitute x1 equal to 0 in the given constraint. Hence we get 2 equation as 2x2 plus 3x3 equal to 4 and 3x2 plus 5x3 equal to 7. When we solve these two equations, we get the value of x2 and x3 as minus 1 and 2. Since one of the value of basic solution lies in negative coordinate, hence the solution is infeasible and it is dropped from further consideration. For a solution, to satisfy the condition of non-degenerative, the value of basic solution must be greater than zero. But in this case, one of the value is negative and hence the solution is considered as degenerative. Since objective function is maximum at five, so it become the optimal solution. Hence, the optimal solution is obtained at x1 equal to 2, x2 equal to 1 and x3 equal to 0 with z max equal to 5. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe the channel.